Boop! Happy Wednesday! Today is Wednesday, February the 16th, 2022. Today's daily Bible readings come to us from Psalm 120, Jeremiah 22, 11 through 17, and Luke 11, 37 through 52. And I'm going to take a look at Jeremiah and talk about me monsters. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of the comedian Brian Regan. Um, and like, if you have, you probably have a certain age. And um, if you haven't, you should look up his YouTube video, Me Monster. Um, <clears throat> Uh, but anyway, <laughs> that's what I think of when I read about this guy, Shalom, Josiah's son. Uh, he was, uh, Josiah had a bunch of sons, and we've talked a lot about Josiah lately, and we've talked a lot about like two of his other sons, Yohayakim and Zedekiah. Uh, Zedekiah was the, had the ignominious honor of being the last king of Judah. Um, we kind of heard about him earlier. Je Yohayakim is the one who's like, you know, pretty much trashed by the prophet for not being anything like his father Josiah. Uh, Shalom Yehoaz um, is the guy who actually, he's like the first king of, of Josiah's lineage right after Josiah passes away. And he doesn't do such a great job. He pretty early out of the gate disappoints God. Um, and he rules for about maybe a year or so. And, uh, but just like just like the rest like his brothers he unfortunately wasn't very much like his father at all uh, he was first in line for the throne um basically his brothers kind of followed after him uh, seems like maybe he had more influence on them than uh josiah unfortunately had on any of them not sure how that happened how that works but that happens you know um so what was his problem basically he put himself uh first in all things He's a me monster. It was all about him. Uh, so he put his happiness first, his comfort came first, and his pleasure came first. Um, so everything else he did as king was just all about satisfying his pleasure. You know, he was after the big honors and the big house and the big thing, you know, like, you know, he, he liked to be, probably was one of those people that liked to have power, wield power, and all the benefits thereof, and be around people who had power and like, you know, just get full of it on that. Um, so it was all about his happiness, his comfort, and his pleasure. And that was all over and above the needs of the laborers, of the poor and the needy, uh, and over and above, unfortunately, the desires of God, which um, doesn't ever please God. Um, it was it was more important to him that he have, you know, this fancy home than to actually, as the text tells us, actually pay the ones who built it for him. Um, not a good thing, you know, like say you're going to build like a big fancy casino somewhere and you, know, you should probably peel the, pay the people that built it for you. Just a recommendation. Crazy thought. Um, you know, build a big house for yourself, pay the people who built it for you. And so he gets faced with this question from God through the prophet. And it's kind of basically like, dude, do you even king, you know, like, do you, do you are you even trying to be a king? Um, God asks him, you know, what he even thinks he is king for. Uh, the very things that he ignores, the very people he ignores and, the, and fails at taking care of, are the very reason he's king. He's not king, so uh, as God puts it, you know, do you, are you king so you can compete with cedar? You know, like, so you can, like, show people that your paneling is nicer than the other guys? No, you're king to take care of all these people who you're ignoring, and not only ignoring, abusing, because you don't even pay the people that do the work for you. Um, so he he doesn't understand that he rules at God's pleasure and for the sake of the, the, the people, the people of God. Um, and God points out this is something your father Josiah understood. Um, you know, so basically the problem is he's putting the cart before the horse. He wants all the nice things that come with being king, but he doesn't want to do any of the things that the king should do. Uh, he's he, he wants the title, but he doesn't really care about the responsibility and the actual work. Um, Shalom wants it to be well with himself uh, first before he cares for his people. And I don't, the feeling I get here is that he doesn't even care about like, oh, I'm going to take care of myself first and then I'll take care of them. You know, I need I need a self care day, and then I'll take care of them. Um, his his he wants to care for himself, but doesn't really care for the people. God points out that his his father saw to the desires of God first, and to the needs of the people, and then it was well with him. It wasn't you know like 
And I get a feeling that his father didn't really spend a lot of time trying to build big fancy houses. He spent most of the time making sure God's house was in order. Um, and then God made sure it was well with him. So anyway, you know, don't be a me monster. Anyway, that's the DBR for today. Get out, enjoy the day, and we'll be back tomorrow. Boop.